Raza Adi and Aslam Khan are Shikha Zhe University international students. Both are from India. They say they came to Xinjiang because the university here provides them with a well-disciplined academic environment, and the classes are in English. They speak limited Chinese, but language is not an issue when it comes to daily living. It was very hard for, uh, for us to communicate, with, uh, communicate in marketplace whenever we go and ask them but to Chinese do. people are very but, helpful yeah. for us and uh, they help they help us and every time when they try to understand it. us, not ignoring. To help the students adapt to the campus, the university employs international teachers. This is an excellent book. Professor Azim Inayat is a veteran Pakistani faculty member at the School of Medicine. He's been employed here since 2002. Or the person is coughing. He helped build the program from scratch. Inayat says he's impressed by how fast the university has embraced the Western model of education. It's too quick, I think, for a, a totally a foreign type of, alien type of program being launched in a university. And it took us four years or five years and we were there. Why? Because infrastructure was already in place. Inayat is now committed to quality control and making sure his program is competitive. The school has sent his alumni to top medical institutions around the globe. Inayat says Xinjiang's openness has helped lay the foundations for international education. I'm not talking about only the physical development. Look at the way the people live here. The people, they just, they just don't survive. They live their life over here. They have been supported. Besides teaching, Inayat often visits student dorms to check up on their studies and life at school. He says he often encouraged them, telling them that what they've chosen will eventually pay off. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN, Shihezi, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region.